Chess friends, how are you? Today Hikaru Nakamura and Magnus Carlsen together played against me in an insane chess game. This chess variant game is very simple, both players can do discuss to each other and they will make their final move by taking their final decision. The more man meditates upon good thoughts, the better will be his world and the world at large, so let's go, I started the game with e4, they choose to play c5 and I played knight f3, here they could play e6 or knight d6, but they decided to play g6 which is called hyper accelerated dragon sicilian, that's why played c3, try to block their diagonal, but after bishop g7 I played d4, and we have center exchanges, this diagonal gets sharp for the bishop, but I get the open rook file at the same time. We have d6, this move is a VIP move, when your bishop is located in a few netto, kingside or queenside, then you should build your pawn structure in the same color square where the bishop is located, so your another bishop can use these light squares frequently, it is called pawn structure strategy, but no matter what strategy they will play they will lose in my hand, because knowledge flows from my brain, we have bishop e5 check, 200 elo rated human Hikaru Nakamura wants to play knight d7. But Magnus played best move bishop d7, so I played e5, human brain will dare to think to capture the bishop, then I will capture the knight and you will gonna lose one more piece, that's why I say that human brain is not capable of playing chess, their brain is only capable of playing very simple games like Ludo and Snake Ladder game, they take it and after takes, you still cannot take because of the same reason, so they played knight g4, look human look. Even the two super grandmasters are nothing in front me, I doubt if I play 1000 games with them, can they really win at least one single game? I don't think so because humans are imperfect and emotional patient, we have queen b6 to target this pawn, so queen e2 by me to support it and this, we have bishop exchanges in b5 and hybrid creature Magnus Hikaru moved back their knight, here many fool humans like you, monkey levy or 200 elo rated bot would play castle or knight c3, but would never think of playing castle in the long side, that's the difference between a human brain and my brain. Your highest thinking and peak intelligence is my starting point of my basic thinking and intelligence, the king maybe looks like insecure, but he is totally safe in there and my plan is to push my kingside army to attack black, because his pawn structure and knight position are perfect for me to attack him, we have knight c6 king to b1, rook c8 and I played g4, the titan move, I am willing to create problems to their structure. Bishop e3 is a threat to target the queen and rook d7 is a possible move to get this 7th rank, so they responded with knight b4 to get this c2 square, bishop e3 to target it, queen e6, knight c3 to block the rook file, f6 by them to create. Breathing room for the knight and target this key pawn, I upgraded my knight position to d4 with an extra move and I sacrificed my pawn which they accepted, my every move has a plan, I didn't sacrifice the pawn by accident like a 200 elo player like you, because now the queen can't stay on there so she has to move and I get the e6 square for my knight use, rook e8 a3 knight back to c6, and I played queen c4, I am threatening to play knight c7 with a discover check to the king and the rook. Playing chess against stockfish is like digging a hill with an axe, I already told you at the beginning of the video that human brain is only capable of doing toilet or eating grass like a cow, but human brain is not capable of playing chess because chess is very difficult you know, doing toilet is easy than playing chess for our brain, we have knight f7 with the idea of playing knight d7 so move up my knights on d5 and look at my brave knights, they are as powerful as iron man. My strategy is to play queen b3 and push the h pawn sincerely to open up the h file, therefore we will move back our bishop to target it, the knights will cover all these squares, so the queen have to move back, then we will play queen h3 to checkmate them in h7, position will be very bad for you, so they slide their king to h8 from this lasering queen diagonal, so queen b3, my plan is the same as I told you, Magnus and Hikaru both are my subscribers that's why they are playing very well, otherwise I would checkmate them in 25 moves, we have knight takes d7 and I want to double up my rooks, therefore I will re-rotate my bishop to attack in the king side with an extra move, when everything will be ready then I will capture the bishop, rook takes then I will capture the pawn by pinning the rook, rook d7 will destroy you, so they played rook e8 to pressure this file, 
Bishop d2 Queen e6, they give me a queen exchange offer but I rejected it by showing middle finger to them with queen d5. Here if you play any normal kind of move, for example a6, then I will capture it, takes, bishop c3 to target it, and how will you protect it? There is no way to protect that pawn and I am controlling this diagonal too, so you might play queen b5 to trade it, so after queen exchanges we will capture the pawn and you will gonna lose the rook and the game, so back to the position, we have rook f7 to protect it, f5 and we have pawn and some pieces exchanges, there is no doubt that black is losing, bishop is coming, rook is coming, king position is weak, everything is terrible, so after some moves later, we have queen exchanges on g6 square. Rook takes g6 to target it so knight e5, we have rook exchanges and rook e1, Ro target this knight, Magnus resigned the game but Hikaru is still playing the game to complete the game to checkmate. So wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.